I'm going to show you guys in depth how to use a Keepa graph to analyze the products and, and to make sure you're buying only good stuff and avoid some crap. And in fact, I am going to show you on a product that I almost spent a couple thousand dollars on. Thank God I didn't, but I would have if I didn't know how to use the Keepa graph. So let's take a look at that. Uh, first things first, though, my name is Adam Fisher, in case you don't know who I am. My goal for this channel is to, to help you get to your first 5K a month and profit on Amazon. That's the whole point of this channel. Uh, so let's go into the video though and show you guys how to use Keepa. So this is, first off, let's look at this product. So this is a product that I recently uh, was about to buy. I took a look at it and I said the numbers look incredible. So let's take a look at the Jungle Scout here. Now some of you have never seen the Jungle Scout. Here we've got the sales per month and units and then we have the number of reviews. Typically people use the number of reviews uh, to figure out how competitive a, a market is. So if anything's got less than 75 reviews, it's probably not very competitive. So we've got this, the first three have incredible sales and everything else has you know decent sales. Nothing, nothing too great. But when I looked at this product a month ago, everything sold at least 500 units a month and almost everything actually was selling at least 1,000 units a month. So this product looked like sales were insane some of these products literally have six reviews and had a thousand sales a month. Uh, I, I, it was the best product that you could have ever asked for at that time. But what I didn't know was how seasonal this product is. Okay, let's take a look at the Keepa graph and show you. This right here is a product from the homepage of, this is the product from the homepage of the search results, and then the first page. Right now, Jungle Scout shows that it's selling 66 units a month. Uh, right now however let's take a look at the keep graph because you can see here so this right here is the chrome extension the google chrome extension for keepa uh, you can use the website it's got the same data but this is much easier because it auto loads in the page for amazon okay you can see what it loaded right here uh, but so we can see the sales rank here for the graph and the sales rank numbers are over here on the right the one thing you need to understand for Keepa is what category is this in? This product is in office products, you know, because each different category has its own set of sales ranks. Home and kitchen has its own set of sales ranks. So uh, the numbers only mean something within that home, within its category. But we can see what the sales rank used to be during Christmas time. Okay, during the month of December, sales rank went way down. Okay, the lower the sales rank, the better, and it went down to like sub 1000 at one point if I could find it and so this guy for the whole month of December was probably sitting around maybe 1500 sales rank and he was selling over a thousand units a month so let's go over here to Jungle Scout and show you so we're here on Jungle Scout we're here at office products and I already typed it in because I already typed it in but essentially what I'm showing you is that this guy was selling a thousand units a month 1074 during the month of December but right now he's selling 66. That means he's selling less than a 15th what he was selling uh, during December, okay? Hugely popular Christmas present apparently, but right now it's not selling. And these are these are from other, you can see the same thing from other people selling this product. December sold really well. This guy got really low here, and then now he's jumped up to about 16K, but down here he was down to less than 2,000. Same thing for this product, no, same story. Uh, so let's go, so this is a product that I didn't buy because of the Keepa graph. And the thing is, I would have never known that this was a super Christmas seasonal product if I hadn't seen the Keepa graph. I would have never guessed this was a really, only like a really good Christmas present. So uh, let's take a look at a product that I actually flipped uh, about a couple months ago. It's this product right here found it in stores. I don't remember exactly which store it was in. I think Best Buy. That would make the most sense. I sold it for $145 at the time. But, so what we could see here on this Keepa graph, let's give you an in-depth analysis on how to use the Keepa graph. We've got Amazon's buy box price here. So this is essentially what the price Amazon's selling it for. You can see if they've stocked out recently. You can see if they even ever have ever sold this product. We got the new price. Now this price includes everything. All new products, regardless of how they're being fulfilled, FBA or FBM. We've got the sales rank, which we've really already went over. A couple other things you want to you might want to know. We've got the used price here. 
We've got uh, new third party fulfilled by Amazon. Since I do only fulfillment by Amazon, I want to know what other people, the lowest price of people doing fulfillment by Amazon is. And here is the buy box price, which is this add to cart button right here. So I can actually see what price was the buy box at at every point in time. So there you go. Uh, couple, uh, let's take a look. You can also change the duration here. We could change it to three months the entire time, whatever you want to do. And uh, you can also see the number of sellers for a product in new and used condition. So here's a new number of sellers. Pro tip, if the number of sellers for a product it has recently really spiked up, okay, let's just say it went from 10 to 25, you're probably going to get in a price war. Okay, there's a lot of people selling a product more than there used to be, and unless the sales have gone up enough to, to justify that, you're probably going to get in a price war. Just a, just a pro tip for you. I've seen it happen before. So when you're actually going to, let's do the in-depth analysis now. When you're actually going to look at a product that you want to flip or a product that you want to, this is mostly about products you want to flip. We already kind of looked at products uh, that you uh, would do private label for. But if you were going to flip a product, so let's just say I went into stores next week and the price of this product goes back up to $150 because it was selling for $150 for most of the time the last three months and then it, it just, it's come down recently to about 135, 140 bucks. So let's say I, Adam Fisher, he goes into stores next week, the product's selling for 150 bucks. Again, very, very feasible to do. Uh, but when I scan the product and see that it's selling for 150 bucks, I should check the Keepa graph and see how much the product used to be selling for. Because I will see when I do that that the product used to be selling for ten to fifteen dollars less than it at one hundred fifty dollars. So knowing that, I should be willing to accept that this product we could easily go back down to one hundred thirty-five bucks. It could easily happen. It, it just happened not very long ago. And so if I don't make any money at one hundred thirty-five dollars, this is definitely not the product for me to be getting into because it's very likely for it to drop. Now, that's how I typically look at products that I'm going to flip. The sales rank usually doesn't jump around enough when I flip products for that to matter much. But what really does matter much though is the price history and whether Amazon's been selling it or not. That's the most important things. When it comes to analyzing private label products, what really is the most important is simply the sales rank and the price history. Okay, I'm looking at this product. Let's look at, look at this guy right here. This guy right here, you can see he started selling his product at only $13 just to get some sales. Okay, so you know, you can see he did a pretty good job. He might have done a lot of giveaways here too. That's probably what happened. But then he jumped his, he, he doubled his price. Literally doubled his price from 13 to 20 to 24 dollars right there. And his price has been, you know, at Christmas he lowered up his price. Even he upped his price, and now he's brought it back down. So you can see where our market's going. Okay, if you look at a bunch of products in the same niche, and the prices have gone down recently on all of them. Not a good market to get into. The prices are not likely to go back up. They're likely to go down more. So hope that helps you understand how to use Keepa for private label and flipping products. Uh, again, my name is Adam Fisher. I'm trying to help you guys get your first 5K a month of profit on Amazon. Uh, if you like what I'm trying to do here, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.